Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Steve with LRM. Today we're gonna to talk about a DT12 transmission, how to replace the tail, tail shaft speed sensor. Before we get started, guys, I need you not to forget to subscribe and also like the videos that you like and love. And if you guys have any questions, concerns, or you wanna ask me a question, don't forget to leave me a comment at the bottom. DT12 transmission, right? They're on our Freightliner Cascadias. It belongs to them. I have had customers want to know how do you replace the, you know, the tail shaft speed sensor. Sometimes they'll get a code, or maybe it's not reading how fast it's going on the speedometer. Right? Those are the most common issues. So on a DT12 transmission, it's very simple. One tool you're going to need, and everybody should have it because it's the multi-purpose tool, a crescent wrench. Once you get the crescent wrench, we're going to pop it free and then remove it. So today I'm going to cheat. My transmission's not in a truck. This bad boy is laid underneath your vehicle, right? And it's going to be towards the back. So as you can see today, I'm going to cheat. I have no truck to get underneath. What we're going to do is talk about the tail speed shaft, tail speed, uh, speed sensor on the tail shaft of this transmission. My bad. It is hot guys. Bear with me. As you can see, here's your tail shaft, right? This is your speed sensor on a DT12 transmission. So this plug you twist. So what you're going to do is just get a hold of it. You know, lefty loosey, righty tighty. And then once it goes no more, wiggle, wiggle. You may have to spin just a little bit more and it comes out just like that. It's that easy. Once you have that, put it off to the side. And then everybody's favorite adjustable crescent wrench. Now what I do is, remember Lefty Lucy, all I'm gonna do is just shock it, right? Just like that. Once it's loose, you just keep spinning. Eventually feel like it's gonna get looser. This transmission has been sitting. So sometimes you'll see the code on the dash for uh, you know, the tail speed sensor. So this is something that you guys can do. It's very easy. You get underneath with your crescent wrench, go pick one up at a Freightliner dealership and then unscrew it and then you can screw the new one in. And then see if that works out and it's that easy. So when you pull it out, look for this end right here because usually what you'll see is It'll probably wear down, start seeing maybe a copper. And that means it's hitting inside here and may have another problem. Or sometimes you'll see that it's just worn um, or you know, just look for any kind of metal. If you see any of that kind of indication of metal, that means there's something going on inside. You may have something on the back part of the transmission. But if you don't, what you wanna do is put a little clean oil or um, thread lock. And then just remember guys, lefty loosey, righty tighty. All we do is put it back in. Like I said, I love to start with my finger, not just put a tool on it right away because you don't you want to avoid those cross threads. Then back with the crescent wrench, get it snug and a little turn, and that's it. And then you put the, your plug back on. You just twist and it snaps right in. It's that easy. Guys, this is the way to save money. You don't have to spend over the minimum of the shop for something that took less time to make this video. So just keep that in mind. If you see it on the dash, right? The plug is, I mean, the sensor is probably like 50, 60 bucks. Put that in, at least you already eliminated one issue and you did it yourself. And if it goes away, Eureka, you're done. But if it ends up being something else, at least you know that this part has been taken care of, you're not paying an additional money. So just keep that in mind. All right, guys, as you can see that it was very simple and something that you anybody can do. And this is here to save you money. All you need is a crescent wrench, a little bit of patience, and then you had it done to save some money. If you have any questions of what you saw today, don't forget to leave a comment at the bottom. If you liked it and even loved it, don't forget to pound that like button. And guys, I want, I'm here for you to save some money. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys around.